What is going on guys? It is Noodle House here. And we are back on Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. If I remember rightly, I can't actually leave this room yet for whatever goddamn reason. Because I think I haven't actually looked at certain things. Um, or spoken to someone. I don't know. For whatever reason, when I tried to exit after the uh, episode last week. Not last week. It won't be last week. It might be last week. I don't know. Whenever, basically, whenever I tried to leave this room last, um, it wouldn't let me. So... The front door we came through has a cylinder lock. And the rear door has a sliding lock. That's right. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were closed. In other words, it's what we might call a locked room mystery, okay. right? Yes, under normal circumstances, you would only be able to lock and unlock the doors from inside. The only exception would be Kikichi's lockpicking. He could have picked the cylinder lock in the front door and gone to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this locker room mystery. Also, he appeared at an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. He's clearly suspicious. He certainly is. I feel like it's too obvious. Okay, right, can I not leave? Alright, there's still things to investigate. So, I've spoken to everyone. I have looked at both doors. Is there something that I haven't looked at here? No. Um, I am not a hundred percent sure on why. What have I missed? Have I missed anything? So I've looked at the body. I've looked at the Necronomicon. I haven't looked at the pool of blood. Fucking Jesus. A small pool of blood has emanated from her torso. This can't be from her forehead, the blood's got to be right on the back of her neck. The blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Andrew was killed, maybe more. Death is the 2am time of death, this is in the Monokuma file. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. There's several clues that call my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, it might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Marky, what's wrong? It's not important, but the only time you're liable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy's useless. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, didn't, know what, didn't see what came up. Is this really a time to rest? I don't think we found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. Ah, oh, you're right. First we should investigate the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. We may find clues related to the Katana. That's true. We need to check if the Katana really did come from that place. Is something wrong, Marky? This occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? That's fine. Just don't get used to it. But it's nice if I ask to, but it's fine by me. It, the tr it's true that Marky is a tremendous help to me. Okay, so I can leave now, right? I can leave the room? I can. Okay, cool. Can't believe I fucked it up that much that I couldn't remember what I was doing. Oh yeah, where am I going? Where is the anthropologist lab? Okay, it's not far away. Run, 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 run. Let's have a gander in here. If I remember correctly, the gold of katana is from. It's just the sheath. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. Marky, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here, I'm certain of it. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab, after no. all. Not necessarily, anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same in my lab, too. Oh. oh, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the sounds? <laughs> <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess I am. Your, that is your signature look. Anyway, anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Yeah. Something for the seance? Yeah. Yep, that white sheet over there. 
We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage wooden dog statue and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. So that means... That's why I figured to do a little research on the sounds before I got the sheet. Huh? Study? Um... So, let's see. Kichi took to the ground, and... I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Let's see, what does it say about the Cage Child Sounds? Kichi flipped through the old book as he picked up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. In order to perform the caged child, you need five people including the spirit medium and a dark place with no light. I remember correctly. Just like Kia said. First draw the magic circle, oh fuck. In the center of the circle the spirit medium must kneel or curl like a turtle and rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterwards the other four participants must put the iron, ca the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also, it says we can't step on this magic circle during the preparations. The dark guard? What is, do you mean the dark statue? When preparations are complete, turn out all the lights and create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing at the corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the caged child song. After the song, ask is the caged child and then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. That sounds complicated. Right. Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works out or not, Kyo has been wanting to conduct this seance for a while. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain these those copies, I have already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Right. Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can c conduct the seance without it. But, but is it even possible? Can contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? You should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The seance hasn't even started That's yet. True. Maybe it's better if we join them. Huh? You think so? Don't well, I'm not sure. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> but whether you believe it or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking. Right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. One of the three empty rooms are in the middle one. Okay. Kikichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, then left the room. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bye then. Bye, Marky. Find out some good shit for me. Since Kaito is going to be fucking useless for this one. I need to go to the third one, right? Middle one, sorry. There we go. Hello. So, Kukichi tells me you wish to participate in this seance as well as Shuichi. You are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh man, oh, man what a shame. Oh, Keyboy, you're out. <laughs> Why me? Hmm. I agree with Kukichi. I was thinking of this for a while. Robots and seances don't mix, they're like toothpaste and orange juice. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help is was appreciated, Kibo. Why you? Don't you any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? That's why we're apologizing. No one's apologized yet. Oh, fine, fine, not bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. Why would I do that? Stop whining, Kiba. I want to start the sounds as soon as possible. <laughs> Fine, but I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. What did I do? So, then. so now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do, you understand? do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped upon. Um. 
You drew this magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but I may also unleash a curse. Well, it may, not I. You get guarded, be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the Caged Child song memorized. You must do the same. I have copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read it in the dark. Huh? We have to memorize the lyrics now? You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here is the melody. I listened to Keo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Alright, I think I got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting! Yay, we finally get to see Angie. So Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. And I'll do it. Can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No. No, I'll do it. Because if you're a spirit mere spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You won't talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way you can say goodbye to her. And after you finish saying goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Please. Tenko. By the way. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, if you feel like crying while you're talking to Audrey, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes. Train your heart by crying, laughing and venting your anger, Himiko. I think you've trained too much. You're probably right. Seems like the two of them made up, that's good. So then. So now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us start. Yes. Alright, Himiko, I'll see you later. Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps, since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I got from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Piece of cake! I have five-star flexibility! Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. <clears throat> First, we must place the, this iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully as so not to disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. It's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please don't jinx us! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well... I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. Oh, holy crap, this is a ton! No, 
it is not much more than 175 pounds. Ugh, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Okay, I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Anji speaking through you. Got it. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Well, then. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. We each stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Kyo led us all in the cage child song. Young guard dog and little lost girl Sealed within an iron cage At mountain's bottom within the darkness At last, at last, at long last That's not fucking creepy at all. Me finishing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say. Is the cage child Anji Onaga? He began calling. Now, if this medium answers, say. Is the cage child Anji Onaga? What's going on? Say. Is the cage child Anji Onaga? What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't you answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um, Maybe I failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is it that okay? J just for now. Confused, I walked on the wall back to the candle. I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? It cannot be. That shouldn't be the case. The sounds was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. 
Tanko. I see, yes. Ah, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> she follows orders well, but how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove the object from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Yeah. Seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirits stick around, but whatever. Just like saying up, Keo instructed us how to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything exactly in the order Keo directed. Now, I will remove the sheet. Keo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh? oh. Perhaps. Something is amiss. Himiko ran towards the cage at a sprint. Himiko, I know not to step on the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up, and... Oh, for fuck's sake, she's one of the ones I actually liked. God fucking damn it. Really? Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe one of Fanny's green pew was predicting this tragedy. <laughs> Oh, the pew scale is normal now. I guess it was predicting this. Everyone, please assemble in the sounds room. Well, for fuck's sake. The second body discovery announcement played. Didn't take long for everyone to come running. Tanker, seriously? <laughs> what, what is this? How did this happen? Tenko, Gonta so sorry. Gonta no could protect you. Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the sounds. What happened? I, I don't know what's happening. I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, I guess for now you should maybe start the investigation right away. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Anji may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two blackened? Will we need to find them both at the class trial? Now that you mention it, it's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Huh? What would happen? Monodam, what would happen? What, what would happen? Why did you ask us too, Monodam? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy. I I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do, really, I don't know. Oh man, they're all disorganized. If we can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. But Father always knows what to do, we should ask him for help. I've already forgotten Daddy's in no condition to help us. It's our fault Daddy ended up like this. Yeah. Hi, it's all our fault, Mana Fanny. Yeah. Daddy, help! Why do we don't know what to do around? Ah. We gotta use the power of love. That ought to snap him back to normal. That that won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. You don't understand that because you've never been loved before, Mana Dan. Yeah. Daddy, I love you, so please go back to normal. Yeah. I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. Ah, you make me blush! Here I am. I'm back! Were you good while I was away? Thank you so much, my adorable darling cubs! With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my Wow. No, no. 
man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time away off to relax. Normally most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The series did not leave whether you have permission or not. Wait, to just leave even. Huh? Wait, so then who's this Baldy then? I was just a part-timer. I got to cover me while I was gone. Here's your pay that we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. Now the noose is out of the way. What are you guys talking about again? Ah, oh, that's right. What happens when you vote if there are two blackened candidates? Well, I have an answer for that. The first come, first served. First come, first served. The blackened who killed the first victim will be discovered, fir discovered will be your target. In other words, if the blackened who killed Archie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Archie's killer will be considered the blackened. Basically, Ken Tenko's killer wasted the kill, and Tenko itself was a wasted victim. I'll add that to the skill regulation so you can review it later. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder too. Oh, great. Boy, everything is going so smoothly now that father is running things again. Leader's got to be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Daddy, you're going! You're going like a lamb! There's nothing better than being praised by my own cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as I live, I will never let any of you go. Is that the bomb I was saying never let's go? That's why it's so amazing. Please leave me some more, Daddy. That is just okay. Bye. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, Mom and Dad's still here. Um. So it makes sense if all of that. If both murders have a different culprit, then our vote will determine me and Angie's killer. Nope. We don't know if there is different culprit, do we? Let's see. True, we should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. Ah ha ha, finally things are heating up. I'm getting so excited. Get out, you fucking psycho. Shuichi, Shuichi this is bad. Huh? Hmm? This is unquestionably bad. I, I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused. I'm in no shape to hell right now. No. So this is where you need to step up. Listen, up. Listen Shuichi. Yeah. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Y yeah. Alright, then let's check the Monokuma file first. The victim is Tenko Chabashira, the ultimate Aikido master. The body was found in the middle of the empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11am. The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. To the back of the neck? Hmm. Stab wound on her neck, the same as Angie's called us to death. Hmm. It doesn't like a coincidence, maybe it's Angie's curse. Oh. You curse? God, not again. Yes. Hey. What? Curse? Kaito, calm down. No way, there's a curse. Don't screw around. You're the one who's screwing around. Do you want to die? A dull sound reverberated through the room. Kaido, you okay? My bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. I'm gonna leave, get some fresh air, so I'll leave this to you, Maki Ro. Kaito left the room, still a little bit wobbly. Um, um, should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. True, we haven't time to mourn Tenko's death, as our own lives are at risk. That, the, that's true, but Angie and that Tenko. Uh, to thank Ellie, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm uh, sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective. Well... It's too dark in here. We can't investigate it even if we wanted to. Going to bring candles from other room to make the room bright, okay? No, no that won't be necessary. Yeah, that won't be necessary at all. Huh? Why? Show, Kibo, show him your new power. New power? No, it's not time, oh, fucking hell. I'm Yui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius. 
have installed a new function in Kibo. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Man, what a lame function. You should have made him like a transformer or something. It's okay. But it's pride now, so we should hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. And if you want to see more of this, then do subscribe to the channel I upload every day. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.